welcome back to another Geek Up video, and today I'm going to be looking at this, the $22 smartwatch. This is the GV18A+, whatever that is supposed to mean. And this is what only to what I can presume uh, to be an Android smartwatch. Now this isn't running Android's watch OS, but I presume it's running some sort of modified open source operating system such as Android. Now, when I first got an email to review something like this, I was a bit, um, how, how do you put it? I was a little bit um, concerned uh, at the, uh, the kind of shady email. I know what you're thinking, James, well, of course, a $22 smartwatch is going to suck. But I turned it on and it got me very excited. Now, uh, eventually, I had a bit more of a conversation with the lady that originally emailed me, despite the incredibly shady emails. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. I mean, how bad can it possibly be? But I was impressed. And that is why I'm making this video. So let's just put it into context. $22. You couldn't go out, I could spend more than $22 in McDonald's. And this is a smartwatch. Do you know, so it, let's just sort of, let's just take a look around the exterior and then we'll go over some of the functions and, func functions and features of the device. So this uh, rocks a, uh, a black uh, plasticky rubber strap, which is actually quite comfortable and really, really lightweight, uh, which has adjustment for even the smallest of wrists. Uh, and it goes like, right that small and it can even go out to like probably big wrists wrists and as you can see if I was to put that on the uh, on the biggest setting uh, I've got quite a bit of leeway on my uh, my big arms now this watch is actually quite interesting so rather than running a proprietary operating system or um, giving uh, some of the features at root level what it instead does is it connects via Bluetooth to your phone or your tablet or whatever and that means it works with both iOS and Android however I, during my testing, the iOS lacks a lot more features, and you are going to want to stick to the Android side of things. Now, when I uh, when I was about to put this on, I noticed it has an NFC tag, and sorry, the image for this, uh, the B-roll for this, sorry, is so bad, uh, but it's actually really hard to capture on video or photo. Now, this actually works with NFC, and I was astounded. Like, I thought, NFC, that ain't going to work. It's no, sh no chat. It worked. Now, uh, one disadvantage to the unit is you are going to have to use Bluetooth. Now, Bluetooth, as we know, isn't the most power efficient uh, connectivity system. However, that is what all smartwatches are using, whether they're running proprietary OS or whether it's um, whether it's having to connect to Bluetooth. Uh, a lot of them are using that. But what astonished me even more was when I took the back off this smartwatch. Now, it's removable. It's really easy to remove. We're not we're not looking at anything complicated here. Shove the battery out. Uh, I should probably lock the device first to be fair before I take the battery out uh, But you take the battery out. I mean removable batteries does not not take does that not take you back to the days of uh, like the old Samsung phones? You get a tiny little battery completely shady, uh, but if we go inside we can actually see it's got room for a micro SD card slot It's got room for a sim card now that is ridiculous because this thing can make calls uh, over Bluetooth and I have tested it out I've used it before and it's actually quite good but it can also make calls off its own back. So shove yourself a SIM card in here and you can actually uh, make calls using the operating system. And it will simply use the microphone and the speaker on the device in order to make the call. Uh, now remote calling and remote notifications are also very, very good. You get Facebook and WhatsApp installed by default, but I couldn't get Facebook to work, but it may just be kind of a look of uh, the draw kind of thing. And to port your notifications over to the device, you need to install an app called BT Notify or Bluetooth Notifier. This took a little bit of a digging around to find, but after uh, searching through some APKs on the internet, it was actually something I managed to uh, install fairly painlessly. It's also got a camera on, right? It's not the greatest camera in the world, I'll admit that, but for covertly filming things, I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, and it also records video, you can record audio, you can play music, you can use this as a Bluetooth speaker. I mean, it's not good, you're not going to be having any parties with this thing, but wrist speaker it's absolutely fine um, a couple of other features on the device it charges over micro usb the screen is actually okay it's got a pedometer in so it will track your steps it's also got a sedimentary reminder so that if you're sitting down for prolonged periods of time it will um it will warn you and vibrate and be like james you're sitting down for too long stand up and get some exercise you lazy so and so. And it will also uh, do some stuff with your sleep. So, uh, say you leave this on your wrist in your sleep. Personally, I wouldn't do this, but you have the option to do so. Many people wear watches uh, while they're asleep. I just get paranoid about that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you put it on your wrist while you're asleep, it will actually um, 
it will actually track your sleep and whether you're you're sleeping well or or not sleeping well based on your movements uh, given like the gyroscopes and the accelerometers in the device if you're moving about all over the place it'll be like James what are you doing with your life sort of thing so from that perspective it's great and I think it all has to be put back into context that's twenty two dollars twenty two dollars is you could spend that in seconds like $22 is not a, a massive amount of money, not to mention this thing is going to go down. Now, where'd you get one of these from if you did want to pick one of these up? And then I'll go over some of the final features. Now, the woman that uh, sent me this was very insistent on um, it, you using a link. And if you wanted to buy it, she was going to track how many sales were made. And if any sales were made, then she was insistent that uh, that she would possibly send me some more stuff. And maybe uh, this series can become a reoccurring thing with like 4K action cameras and uh, and keyboards and mice and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but, so yeah, if you do want to pick one of these up, I'll leave the link in the description. But I think it needs to be put into context. $22. $22. Let me, let me just, let me just get my... This is my other watch. This is a G-Shock watch. It's like a, a ruggedized watch, but I still think it looks uh, really quite nice. $180. It tells the time. It's got a little bit of a screen on, and it does, like, world time, and it will do a couple of cool things. $180. $22. Now, I know this is a designer brand, and I know this isn't a designer brand. However... $22 versus 180 you can change the watch face, you can change the theme, you can change the wallpaper, you can take photos, videos, and it really kind of stirs the geek inside me, and it looks identical to the Samsung Galaxy, uh, the gear watches, for example, the strap is actually very, very nice, I found the watch to be comfortable, lightweight, discreet, I found it, I found it that it, it worked as it was meant to work, so don't get me wrong, the video quality and the image quality is not you know, it's not it's not anything it's not anything comparable to my OnePlus One with its 4K camera on the back. That there's no there is no comparison there. But for twenty two dollars, I mean, it's a computer. That's what it is. It's a computer on your wrist. A very small, very low power computer. But it's a computer on your wrist for twenty two dollars. So, conclusions, pros, cons, should you buy one of these, should you not buy one of these? Honestly, if you are, if you have $22 to spend, and you wanted something a little bit of entertaining on your wrist, go for it. It's got a calculator, it's got, it's got loads of really cool stuff on it. It isn't going to be half as fully fledged as the Gear VR, not the Gear VR, sorry, the Samsung Galaxy Gear watches, or the Motorola 360s, or the Apple Watch. It's not in that league at all, but the Apple Watch is like five, $600 this is 22. So if you wanted a bit of a taste of what a smartwatch is like, go and pick one of these up. It's not going to blow you away by any means. But how excited I was when I got this and started playing around with it. And I've won it a bit for school and everyone is just like incredibly excited about it. Which is, which kind of baffles me in kind of some sense. But I think it just really is great how it works as it's supposed to work. I mean, it's coming straight from China, it's coming straight from Hong Kong, I mean, if they're the same country or whatever, but you just can't go wrong with something so cheap, but it's actually quite entertaining. So if you do want to pick one of these up, use my link in the description. If you'd like to see uh, more of Gearbest products, they have loads of cheap stuff on there, it all comes straight from China, so it's kind of potluckers to whether it's going to be good or whether it's going to be bad. Uh, but based on my experience with this, so far, so good. Make sure to drop a like rating and to subscribe, but as always, we will see you in the next. Geek or what video?